Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So what are we doing today, Dan? We're doing another daily vlog. We are. It's about As 20... It's, it's hot, 25 degrees so today. we're not going to do a hot count, it's not like Spain, but it is uh, nice clear blue skies it's today. Friday, we was going to go out for the day somewhere, we were going to go out on Towers or Blackpool, but we checked mm -hmm. the queue time just today for both parks and all rides, <laughs> big rides, were over like 100 minutes, so we opted out. Perks of school season, um, obviously it's the last day, if you are a teacher or if you're whatever and you are watching these videos, congratulations on getting to your last day. But, we was going to go yeah. on a bike ride, which mm -hmm. we might still do, but then I don't know why. My first day off, well, this week. <laughs> Been training all week, obviously, in the new job, and we've opted to do some more work. So, yeah. my mum and Alan are down the caravan, mm -hmm. so we've what opted we're to borrow them. my granddad's <laughs> lawnmower and cut this grass. We've got some peas in the fridge. We we're going to yeah. have a barbecue tonight. We had some chicken in that needed marinating, so we're going to cook that up later on, sit mm -hmm. out. We've got some logs in the shed from the last a time we had a fire, ago. so we might light the fire tonight and stuff. But the grass, is horrendous, we will like show you now. big, know. massive so mounds. We've contacted my granddad, haven't we, and he's lent us his lawnmower. Big I mean, that's really bad. Mounds, here, there, and everywhere. We also have some flowers grown loads, look. Ah! Can't wait for that to bloom. Um, it's getting windy. So, so that's a nice we breeze. have got a petrol lawnmower in the shed. We've had it for years, but it's been left in there for about two, three years <laughs> now. My mum pays for a gardener. And her husband pay for a gardener to come to do the cutting of the grass, the trimming and everything like that because obviously we're all working usually so no one, she just likes it done by them, I don't know. So the lawnmower's not been touched in the shed and it's buried. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to risk getting it out in case... Spiders well, I, I just, no, 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 I just, I just know for like that, but I just know for the fact it wouldn't <laughs> run. So I ran my granddad up, he's lent us his lawnmower, his petrol mower. And his trimmer. And his trimmer, we've just been down and collected it so we're going to get the grass cut. You know, if you want to watch, stay with us for the day, we'll show you. We'll try uh, to do a quick time lapse. We'll try and do the whole day. Uh, cutting the grass. Yeah, we'll do the time lapse of the grass. We're having a barbecue later on, only a mm -hmm. bit of chicken and, and whatever. And but a it's beers. a daily vlog and we'll so. see what happens. So, this is the life of me and Dan. Anyone wondering how close we are to Manchester Airport? Pretty close. It's like being at Thought Park watching these come over. If you just watch the time lapse, you'll see we've just finished cutting the grass, or I have, while Paris has been doing the borders. Um, it grown, it grown quite savage, didn't it? It was quite lumpy in places, so I had to. I am absolutely dripping in sweat as well. It's about 25 degrees out here, uh, so we did have to lower the setting on the lawnmower, um, and sorry, higher it to get a decent enough cut and then go back over it and if you see me all over the place that's because the grass is still wet underneath so big chunks of it were clogging the lawnmower up and it was spitting them out see like this here big chunks of grass everywhere so it's, you know what's done as well as we can it looks a lot better um oh here we go this is going to start trimming go on give it a whirl don't break them blades though. This is my, uh -huh. this is my granddad's uh, electric uh, cordless strimmer. I don't think Paris has ever strimmed before. Sorry, I wasn't even aiming at it. And back and that's our work there 
If you're wondering why I was going around the edge with a pair of gardening scissors. <laughs> and the other brush. It's really finished it off. I'll take it up now and show you. But, you know, we're not gardeners, but I can put them a job. This blooming strimmer of my granddad's is rechargeable. And it's a bit. Like thing. It's not the best. But one thing I will say, every time I've ever tried strimming, the cord all snaps. And this underneath. I mean, like to be honest, blade, it's looking a little it? bit battered, but it's like a plastic blade underneath. It's quite lightweight, which is ideal for my granddad, really. And it's... Uh, yeah, battery powered. It's got a little attachment underneath there for all the uh, extra blades. Don't know why he's but still got the, the plastic on it though. Yeah, he gave us the charger, didn't he, just in case, but we've not needed it. No, um, but it is very, very warm. Why are you yeah. facing that way? Camera I don't know. <laughs> yeah, very, that's very it warm. done. Um, we'll give you a little look round, some close ups, yeah. and then Wash me we'll get back to you and let you know what we're doing for the rest of the day. Definitely. If you've stuck with us this long through the garden, then thank you. Well done. <laughs> but don't forget, guys, do obviously rate and subscribe to the channel. Just had a nice little catch up with Dan's granddad Brian. You've probably seen him at the what was that then? You were like, <laughs> but yeah, you've probably seen him at the end of the clip where Dan was filming the grass. But yeah, uh, if you want your grass doing, buy ginger and brown, uh, 20 quid. Yeah, we're gonna get our own equipment, aren't we? And start yeah. doing it ourselves. <laughs> 20 pounds. So if you want us to come and do your garden, just uh, put a comment below. <laughs> Dan's shattered, I think. I'm not shattered. I'm just yeah. trying to think what we're doing for the rest of the day. I'm suggesting a walk around B&M. He is, he's suggesting oh. a walk around B&M, but then he wants to also go on the bikes. So no, I don't know what we're doing. To be honest. <laughs> we could just go on a bike ride. Should we go on a bike ride? Get the GoPro? I'll let you know. We'll see. But also, guys, do also keep hydrated in this weather. I'm quite fortunate in having this HydroFlow. It's like a Stanley Dube, and it's uh, insulated, so iced water stays nice and cold while Stan drinks out of a plastic cup. So the bike ride is napping Paris wanted to get the garden chairs out. And in order to get them out, she's had to pull half the shed out. These are our bloody suitcases. Some of them's got Paris's belongings in from when she moved down here. Um, yeah, so we're just kind of having a bit of a sort out day. We've got my golf clubs, which I actually should have been golfing today, but because of work uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to be working this Friday so it turns out I'm off don't fire that at me <laughs> um, she fired that at me once and it blooming nearly took me head off it did but um, yeah I've got a golf today there's a golf society game going on but like I said I didn't know if I was going to be working or not it turns out I'm off oh well I'm mad so yeah bike ride was going to happen one night we sorted the shed out last week We've got the GoPro out and everything. I mean, we could go for a little ride. Work yeah, up an appetite. Might for, go a little one. Work, work up an appetite for a beer later, and we could take the GoPro out and test it. And you can tell us how the the cycling footage looks. But I mean, the shed looks a lot cleaner. Mm. But it won't for long. But uh, yeah, but we'll report back once we've uh, cleared it all the way and decided what we're doing on a bike ride. So we have decided we're going for a bike ride. Nothing major, just a little one. And we're going to have a pit stop for a drink. I don't know if Paris knew that, but we are. At uh, the local pub at the end. It's not going to be long. We'll take the GoPro with us. Um, because we do want to... No, so we do want to start doing like some bike riding vlogs and stuff. So it's a good opportunity to get the chest mount on and try it out, isn't it? Yeah. See how it goes. So, we have uh, organised part of the shed. Yeah, yeah, we'll show you. We've got the uh, deck chairs out. Uh, this box is getting burned tonight. We are lighting the fire later on. We've got some wood left, so stay tuned. You'll see that later on. <laughs> uh, the garden's actually quite nice of an evening when it's all lit up. We've got lights all around the shed and stuff, so again, you'll see that later. They're ready for when we get back. We're going to chill out. And the shed, probably to you guys, better. doesn't look organised. I'm going to do that right on corner. But trust me, this is fantastic. Um, I don't know if anyone remembers this. I got this as a kid at Christmas many years ago. Um, Connects roller coaster. You can build two different types: spiral and one with a loop. Uh, absolute classic. And believe it or not, everything's still in there, and it can still be built to this day. Yeah, it's just having there. the space to build it. So. Uh, I know exactly. But uh, what you're about. yeah. So we're gonna 
lock the shed up. I'm gonna change. Get the gold pro on. There's another plane from Manchester, look. I don't know if you can see. Ooh. We are so close to Manchester Airport. Even closer to Liverpool. It takes me 20 minutes to get into work. It's not too bad. Right, are you ready for a bike ride? It's a bit warm, isn't it? But we'll be all right. Right, well, we'll see you when we're on the go. We so we're all set for a bike ride. GoPro is on. Harrison's got a bite ready. We are ready. I've got my little uh, fanny pack on the go. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you when we're back. We're going to take the GoPro with us and get the bite ride, but we're probably not going to catch much of the pub. Um, we might try and record something on the GoPro while we're there. So if you see a mix up of footage, something looking different, then yeah, it's GoPro footage. Right, we'll see you when you're back. Paris. Hey, hey. You okay? Not as confident as Dan. Enjoy it? Yeah. Word up an appetite for a drink, a thirst, should I say? Most definitely. <laughs> right, let's get to the bar, eh? Yes. So we're at the pub. We made it. Sweating. <laughs> Absolutely dripping. I had sweat. to send Paris in because I wasn't going in wearing this vest strap with the, for the GoPro. Cheers, guys. I would have been sweat marks on the back, but um, cheers. <laughs> There we go. But yeah, I've just um, walked in there and the heat in that in that pub is horrific. Oh. Yeah, it's really warm, but it's dead. But because it's the last day of school, the, the bar lady, she was like, oh, well, um, it could get busier in a little bit because the kids have only just finished now. I was like, good luck to you because it probably will get rammed. I've got to say yeah, that. Yeah, just kind of sit and chill out for a little bit. Yeah, we've been in discussions. We're not going to say what, we don't know mm -hmm. yet. But we've been in, in discussions about upgrading our camera because I don't know if you noticed in some of the previous videos, it's a bit shaky. but the autofocus isn't the best and it's a little bit shaky yeah, as well. Yeah, the stability's not been stability's great. stability's not great and it is about five years old. Now. And obviously this is on the GoPro, so you can see the difference from earlier in the vlog to the so, GoPro video now. So yeah, we are discussing potential upgrade options. We want something smaller, and you know what? Just having you use, want something smaller. using this GoPro <laughs> now is actually ideal. It's just a nice size. You're not, you know, the Canon G7X Mark II isn't massive, is it? No. But, but at the same time, um, you know, it's a little bit more to handle. And when you look at though, when we when we got the G7X, it was like 500 quid for a bundle. Yeah. And now the camera alone has gone up to like 600 and odd quid. It's like, what? Yeah, so I don't know whether so they're in demand what's or what. Going on. Or they, they, they've, they've, uh, what, do you, what do you call it now? They've been um, stopped, but stopped production. Because I think the G7X Mark III came out. Yeah, Mark III has come out. But I think now, personally, I, I think I think the vlogging, the vlogging camera, sorry, the vlogging camera market now has it's gone the more quality, compact. The quality, you've got to have the good quality to screen. get everyone And we don't in, have yeah. 4K. I always was under the but assumption is, when we got the Canon, mm. it was 4K. a 4K, but it's not. It's 1080p. So that's a bit of a disappointment. High quality 1080. Don't get me wrong, like this, but it's you know the, the uploads take a lot longer. But mm. having the 4K quality as an option for your viewers seems like the best way to do it and it it's the stability on some of them like you, you watch the footage of this back now and it'll be so clear and if so you like stable. these videos when we're doing the bike rides let us know in the comments below say oh yeah I'd love to see more of that obviously we did alter the camera position so you can see me like 
straight away and then after Dan thought oh let's get a, try and get a shot of the handlebars we're just mixing it up and seeing what um, angles are going to work best yeah so the footage in this won't be the best um, we were talking about getting we're going to need to get some helmets if we're going on proper bike rides and we might get a GoPro mount for the mount helmet the instead helmet. and maybe a wrist strap as well but again it's trial and error I've just watched some of the footage back on my phone on the GoPro app while Paris was in getting the drinks and it worked out quite well we did a time lapse from the house but we wouldn't be putting that in because we don't want people we're not going to put the address. house but we'll put and then as we got to the top of the road we i pulled over because i was concerned that the gopro wasn't pointing in the right direction and then i pointed it down and as you'll see from only we're only putting bits of the footage in because honestly you can't see a great deal just the handlebars mm -hmm. i was hoping it'd be a wider angle and we can see the handlebars and what was ahead but again this is trial and error if we went out for a day out and packed some sandwiches and went for a ride up to sankey valley in warrington to get all the way back and find the footage was rubbish we'd be gutted, we'd be gutted. <laughs> so that's the whole point that's why of we're this. trying it now we thought we'd bundle it in with a daily vlog so yeah. again comment below if you're enjoying it but and we're gonna go like finish it. these pints we may record the ride home we may not because we don't really want to put in where we live and um, but failing that we'll see you when we're back we will. anything you want to add bye Bye. <laughs> so we've just got back from the bike ride and uh, Dan were like let's go get some crisps from the uh, garage so we managed to pick up some crisps and the guy and said then... to me <laughs> go on go on, to, go yeah. on the guy said to me in the shop I ended up picking up a bottle of wine as well and he said to me in the shop do you like a bag and I said no, no, I only live there. And he said, but, but you're cycling. He must have seen me on the cameras. <laughs> and I said, yeah, no, it's fine. Um, but, and then I anyway, noticed something I said, I'll in carry there. in one hand. And, and then, then I when I got on the something. bike, Paris said, you've got a bottle. Um. you got a bottle. <laughs> so we rolled back with that. Oh, and I got one of these as well. So we got um, a now new, he's got a scratchy. So we've we got might... a use for um, Dan's bike when we go for a picnic. Well, right? I, I mean, that'd be good, wouldn't it? It'll but, be good, won't it? Let's go get all this kit off and then just have the a little bit. bottle of wine, it was between a bottle of red and a bottle of white and then because we're sitting like around red. the fire tonight, but you've already got a bottle that we found in the shed. Oh I. So, yeah, I thought a bottle of red wine <laughs> in this heat, no, it's all right. So, so let's get nice, all this uh, cold wine. put away and relaxed. Right guys, so the new camera equipment might be coming sooner than we think if this scratch card's a winner. <laughs> um, I don't have any change on me, so we'll scratch it with this. We're looking for a diamond on this. <clears throat> Nope. Nothing at the minute. Might have to hold off for that camera. Mm. Nope. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> Lucky numbers. Your hand's in the way now. We're looking for a seven, is it? Nothing. Oh, we got an eight, but no. Nothing. Oh, uh, done. So, yeah, no luck on this, unfortunately, this time. Oh, well. So now we're just going to relax in the sun. For a couple of hours and we'll probably come back to you as when we've got the barbecue on food cooking oh birds are chirping no, no, sorry, and um <laughs> and yeah maybe when the fire's on as well oh them birds sound cute don't they Chirp plant, chirping we away but yeah our sunflower it's died wilting so um we it. We, were, we got we got worried we watered it so we've watered it and then it's starting to uh these leaves are popping back up again but we don't know if it was um, the fact it was sat in the sun. But yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna just chill for a bit, and we'll pull you back in a long time. So, peace. So Dan's ready to uh, pull the charcoal the briquettes. Sun. We have. We've been enjoying and, enjoying uh, the sun. I'm on not lighting it now. I just figured. He's I'd just get setting it up. up. So on the bottom, these things, by the way. How much on it? This Five is quid? a tenner over a year ago. So. Put it on me, put it on me. So charcoal barbecues. <laughs> can you see? To light. Nightmare to Do you want to come in the shade? So you get one of these. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's the, Can't remember the I name think it's it. just like a lighter. You get one of these, put a bit of we had a bit of cardboard, some barbecue fire lighters, kitchen paper, bit of lighter fluid. You don't even need lighter fluid. Dan just Bung it all in underneath to the show them in the top, Paris. And then there's a grate, and then you start piling your coal on. When did you put that one in? That bit? The grate's always in there. Not I just the did it then and then I realised we should ah. probably show it on the vlog. So if you just pan down here a bit, you'll see underneath. And that's where you light it. See all the holes. kitchen paper. There's cardboard, kitchen paper and lighter blocks. So then, and then, then all we do go. is we chop this up with some more coal. These briquettes have not been the best from B&Q. We're going to use them But once, they were the cheapest, so... I'm not a big fan of them personally. So what we do now is we leave it right until we want to light it. That's ready then, to go. Off we go. Put a flame there, I go in four points, I go there, there, 
here and here it'll start smoking and you'll look at it pardon me <laughs> you'll look at it and think oh it's just smoking it's probably gone out or something and then you look That's down after like Dan. 10 minutes it's really bright <laughs> you look down after 10 minutes and the bottom is glowing and leave it's it. absolutely flaming to leave to, it to and the all tens. these coals on the top will go grey yeah. when they're grey you're ready to go tip them out I would definitely recommend another glove tip them out get your barbecue grill put it on top Beep. while that's heating up give it five minutes go in get your chicken and and whatever you want or whatever you're cooking <laughs> and let the heat heat the grill up yes now we kill not, all the bacteria this. Uh, normally i would we've not cleaned it but the it kills the bacteria outside, doesn't it but if you let it heat up it will kill the bacteria on it and you can just go for it should we update them on the sunflower what happened to that so we come back from our bike ride as you've seen earlier and these look like wilted spinach. It was like dead flat, wasn't they it? Dead droopy, dead dark green, hanging down. Never seen it. So we moved it into the shade, watered it a bit more. Absolutely and watered a bit it of a gardener, too. isn't he? Yeah. And he come round earlier on and he said, oh, last night. And he said, you need to, you put need some to keep more watering it every day. And we no, put, no we compost. Put, yeah. So we filled so it up. The compost, if you look where it is now, it was literally to where my finger is. So we added about three inches, four mm. inches more of compost. And he said basically the roots, it will make it much stronger. Anyway, we come back from the bike ride, these were all droopy, they like wilted spinach. So, so we, we moved it into it. the shade, we googled it, we were like, oh no, because we panicked! <laughs> so we panic watered it, moved it into the shade, and within an hour... It's now back. Back looking beautiful! Back Can't wait for this top bit here to start blooming. But yeah. But yeah. We're going to we'll catch with you when the barbecue's Wait, late. we're going to catch the rest of these rays. I am looking a little bit red. I have been putting sun cream on guys cuz that's one thing how many times do I say to you? Yeah, sun yeah. cream, sun cream, sun cream. One thing I love, but the fact that the sun's out and it's going to rain tomorrow. Let's get these rays. So yeah, let's we'll not be back to you as well because I always say it when we're filming, <laughs> it looks all over the place. Yeah. But then, but then I, I do my editing. little editing skills and puts it all bam. together. And you're like, oh, actually, it looks like a good day. So it, it kind of shows us the day we've had. But when you're filming it yourself, it looks pants. So we'll get back to you when we probably lit the barbecue. I'll show you lighting the barbecue. I'll show you how to light it. And then and cooking the, the food. stages that it needs to be at. We'll yeah. show you the lot. We will. Follow us around with Dan. Oh, I mean, the barbecue okay. man. And Ginger Brown. I'm getting a beer. <laughs> Right, so it's time to light the barbecue. As I said earlier on, I tend to light from four points because it gives it like an even burn into the centre. So we're going to go from this point. As you can see, it's caught quite quick because I've put some lighter fluid on. I'm going to go from there. We'll go from there. Probably doesn't need this. And we'll go from there as well. Now, if you just leave it, that will take about 30 minutes, and it will look, I'll give you some updates throughout, but it will look like it's gone out. It'll just smelt like this, but we come over in about 15 minutes, I guarantee you we look down there, and it'll be glowing at the bottom. So yeah, we'll be back with you as it progresses. But look at that. Right, so it's been about 20 minutes, and as you can see, as I said, the glow has started underneath, and the coals, probably from about a third of the way up, will now be grey, which are, like, the optimal... <coughs> the optimal... Jesus. On this side. The optimal temperature for cooking on. Uh, probably another five or ten minutes, these will start to colour, and then we'll tip them out, put the grill on, give that five minutes to heat up, and then we'll get the chicken and we'll start cooking. Um I've just prepared some two peppers, an onion, and two uh, three chilies. Just coated them in some oil and some salt and pepper, and we're just going to put them on the grill and let them char up. and And then we're going to do some wraps, and we're going to have like chicken wraps with some grilled veg. And then obviously stick with us later on. We'll be lighting the chimney here with the remaining wood that we've got. And um, yeah, we're just going to be sitting out and just chilling out. Right, so as you can see, I did say the next time we'll be with you is when we're tipping it out, but I wanted to show you this progress. If you look, you can see the flames coming up. It's so warm now. Everything's gone grey. This, in a couple of minutes, will be ready for tipping out. We then put the grill over the top. Don't worry if you've not cleaned your grill. The heat is more than 
enough to kill any bacteria on the grill, it will be fine. Give it five minutes while you go and prep whatever. Like I said, we prepped some veggies and some chicken that's been marinated since about 10 o'clock this morning. And that's our tea. We're going to heat up some um, tortilla wraps. We're going to have some sliced chicken with some lettuce and some grilled veg. Nice is happy. She knows when the barbecue's lit. Chances are there's food. So we're going to tip this out in a minute and we will be with you. So the coals have now started glowing fully right Ooh. up to the top. There's one, God, two, hot. maybe three that are... Yeah, it's really warm, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going to move back so, so it doesn't melt yeah, the camera. I'm making the mistake I made last time. I'm using the gloves. So we tip these out and then we put the grill on. Um, I'll show you the process now. The dog isn't obviously uh, in the background. There we go, we're on, we're on, we're it on. It singes the hairs on your hands. And now we've got a nice... So what happens now is that will... BBQ? Kill any bacteria on the surface of that. While it takes me the time to get in and pick up, get the chicken and the veg. And the peppers and the rest. For a nice... And I've got my thermometer, magnetic, sticks to... Anything. The <laughs> tells me the temperature of the chicken. So we've got three marinated chicken breasts. Can't quite remember everything I put in it. Um, Cajun seasoning, garlic powder, turmeric, cumin, other bits, salt, pepper. Um, the reason they've been cooked. They've been cooked. Sorry, and yeah, that's the one. The reason <laughs> I've sliced is for two reasons, actually. Uh, the marinade gets in, penetrates more. It's been in, it's been going now for over six, seven hours. So the marinade gets inside the chicken, but also um, it increases the decreases. No, it increases. Decreases the, the time. Into the middle. Yeah. All right, it, it lowers the. I thought lowers you were going to say time. time. Sorry, it was my so fault. So putting slices in your meat also, like it, it the seasonings will penetrate the meat more, but it will increase decrease. Sorry, the cooking time. Um, something I've never done before, but on the underside, you won't see it. Oh, but underneath, it anyway. it I got about four or bad. five cocktail sticks, and I stabbed right the way through all the meat. This barbecue's not the best. If you just pan over Paris and show them, it doesn't have a lid, so it doesn't retain its heat very well. But if so you we, use we, this blockade to kind of block, in a way, block yeah, the so wind, we, so we it kind of keeps we, it in. We, we want to um, get it on cook as quick it as, 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 quick as we possibly can. Yeah. So. Let's I've, get never one done, on. I've never done it before. We sliced it. Let's get and one. And we've on. pierced the underside with cocktail sticks. Yeah. So the heat can get in and get it cooked. Yeah. I have got my thermometer. We need it at about 165 Fahrenheit for chicken. I hope so. So let's right. get it on. But let's throw it on. See. One chicken breast. Oh, that sizzle and that steam. And we've got a fillet. Get some more on. We've got a fillet as well, so we'll we'll do that. I'm gonna put these here. This it really is a very, very poor barbecue. So it's not that bad. No, it, it's not great. Not done for two. When you need to, oh my god, it smells incredible. When you've got to cut meat, like give it a rub around and all that, like this. For me, you've really got to be careful. And um, I'm going to get the veggies, and they're going to go on the, on outside, the outside and just heat up. And we'll bring this out clean, and we'll put them in. Yes. So we'll be back with you. That we will. the worst barbecue you can imagine um unfortunately it was like a 20 pound barbecue but we're just toasting up these it's just been enough heat to heat up three chicken breasts and a bit of vegetables which is a shame but um we're just heating up the flatbreads sorry the, the uh what are the price tortillas just heating the one two if you're wondering what's popping it is. It's this silver thing here. Yeah, it's just some garlic. We had some garlic left, so I covered it in olive oil, and I've put it 
on underneath. There just in the oven, and it's just going to roast. But Dan's um, just going to throw the rest of the wraps on the grill. I think there's eight. We probably won't I think eat there eight. There's been eight, but there's only six. Oh. But it's all right. Fair dues then. That's why the other packet that we had would have been ideal. But it's um, all right, isn't it? Got the fire going later, so we're going to have our look at the char little barbu. Perfect. Again, it's not a spectacular uh, meal, but... Oh. It's better than nothing. <laughs> oh. But we'll come back to you when we've made our little wraps, won't we, Dan? No, we'll show you me cutting the chicken up. Fair so enough. So how perfect it's cooked, and then we'll show you us building the wraps. That we will. So, food's all done. This is a question mark. I don't know what this is going to be like. It's just um, roasted garlic. Not really roasted, just barbecued. But here's the chicken. Paris, if you want to zoom in. I'm going to show you slicing some of this up. Slice up some of this and it's going to go into the um, into our wraps that we've cooked. So I'll show you how well this is cooked. I'm cutting through the, uh, the tongs at the minute. I'll just use my fingers. Never mind. Very nice. It's really hot, otherwise it'd be sliced a lot better than this. <laughs> but um, if you have a look at that, cooked perfect and obviously marinated for two perfection. A good few hours. We've got another piece. Look at that. It's still and juicy, juicy in the middle. And we're not going to eat all this tonight, so some of this will be left over for tomorrow. Obviously, I'm in work Sunday. So I can take some of that in. Get yourselves a meat thermometer. It'll be your best friend. Uh, chicken, I do Fahrenheit. It needs to be cooked at 165 to be cooked through. I take it off at about 155 to 160. Leave it wrapped in foil. And I promise you now, it will bring itself back up to temperature with the residual heat and it will be moist inside. It'll be perfect. So we're gonna cut the rest of this up. Obviously, you can see it's cut And the perfect. peppers and the onions. Um, we'll build up some wraps. We'll show you the final product. And then we'll eat. And later on, we'll get <laughs> where you're going. Yeah! So the garlic's come out of the tin foil. It's perfect. Um, we could eat it like that. It'll be a lot less harsh than it would be if you ate it raw. It tends to develop like a sweetness when you roast it. Um, but we're going to just chop it up a little bit and we're going to stink tomorrow, but tomorrow <laughs> we're not doing anything, are we? Um, I know my hands look dirty, just a bit of charcoal is going to do us no harm. We're going to chop this up and we're going to spread it into our wraps. Mm. And then as well as what? Our veggies. And as well as this, guys. We got it from Aldi, Chipotle Aldi, yeah. and Lime, Ioli. And it's, and so it's nice, isn't incredible. It? We're not so sponsored good. by the sauce shop, but we would like to be. Oh yeah, we do <laughs> use the sauce shop anybody, quite a lot. Chicken, garlic, peppers, onions. I'm only gonna put some of the sauce shop on. I can't wait. <clears throat> Have you done that already? <laughs> you were messing about. Hey. Whatever you were doing. It's called filming. And that's what we've got. But I told you guys this is. We've trick had a busy works. day, haven't we? We have. Gardening. Well, I mean the gardening <laughs> was the only thing. Gardening. Bike ride. A few beers. Fire later. Bit of music. Happy days. We have. I'll, I'll change be with you because I'm hungry. Yeah. <laughs> Charred peppers. Yeah. Bit good. of chilli. I love a bit of chilli. Onions. I'm a big onion fiend. How much do I eat of Cover onions? Cover the wraps up, please. 
Well, but I'm just getting a bit of... Otherwise, it'll be crispy as out. Right, I'll do it. I'll do it! So the thing is with wraps is when you heat them up, if they're not kept warm, they will go to absolute pot. Right. Now we have put a few fresh chillies in this, and I don't, they can't taste they're not them at the minute. They're not tasting. It's more the heat you're looking for, isn't it? Mm. But yeah. Oh, can't wait for this. I'm absolutely excited. I love barbecue food. Chicken, onions, peppers, chilli, garlic. How's that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So we've shaved down about half of one of these in, with the hammer and a, like a flathead screwdriver just to make some kindling. Um, and we've added one fire lighter, would you say? Don't know. And, um, yeah, Thank we're you. just going to... Fire it in places. Get it going. And we've got this to use up and this cardboard box needs to go in. Yeah, you can't beat it. I mean, look at this for a night. Blue sky. It's only just gone eight o'clock. No, it's past eight now. Is it? Yeah, it's about quarter past. Is it? Yeah, that's what I mean, just gone eight. Quarter past. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get this burnt and um, just chill out, listen to some music. We keep lowering the music for monetization so we don't get... <laughs> Copyright. We don't get caught out speakers just there. But, yeah, we'll get back to you when the fire's roaring away. of today's sort of daily vlog we're gonna leave it there it's now what five past nine and it's still not gone dark it's still quite light no. as if dan's still got his sunglasses on because the sun's still shining it's actually much later with yeah these glasses on. i bet <laughs> but uh yeah there's not much more we can show you about no, today no. we're just sitting around the fire just having a drink just listening to some music um we can't show you the lights because they're not on no they won't come on till about probably so. 10 o'clock tonight Maybe yeah. even later. So hopefully you've enjoyed the vlog. Yeah. I so if know, you have, I don't know what we've done when I look back. We've but had I'm a barbecue. Sure we've had um, a gardening day. A gardening. We've cut the grass. <laughs> but if you do like what you see, guys, obviously uh, rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please leave a comment below if you do like these daily vlogs. Like we do different stuff every day. Obviously, I'm on six week holidays now. Dan's on four in, four off. So we will be doing more things coming to the channel for obviously it dance four days off but if you do like, like what you see please do rate comment and subscribe to the channel it's ginger and brown and everything minus tiktok which is ginger brown 18 so for now is there anything you want to say before no, we go so. if you've stuck with us to the end of this video because like i <laughs> keep congrats. saying when you've what when you're filming it it looks like it's all over the place <laughs> but if you've enjoyed it please let us know in the comments mm -hmm. to us it looks best mash mish mash, mash. mash. but I'm sure it'll all come together fine. Yeah, but, but yeah, Ginger Brown is everything. Mine is TikTok, which is Ginger and Brown yeah. 18. So for now, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.